Hey guys, if you want to root Android phone, the first thing that usually comes to mind is Magisk. Yes, Magisk is great, it's popular, and it works on many devices. But in this video, I'll show you a newer and cleaner way to root Android phone using Apatch. And this method works on most supported Android devices, whether you're on Android 14, Android 15, or even the latest Android 16. But before we start, keep a few things in mind. Rooting your phone may void warranty on some brands, so check that first. Also, this process will wipe all data on your phone, so make sure you take a proper backup before proceeding. And yes, there is always a risk of bricking your device if you flash the wrong file, so watch this full video first, and then follow the steps carefully. Also, this method won't work on Samsung phones since they don't support fastboot. If you have a Samsung device, check my other root videos linked in the description. And one last thing, Rooting a phone requires an unlocked bootloader. Some brands do not support bootloader unlocking at all, like Realme, Oppo, Vivo, Huawei, and a few others, so those phones cannot be rooted. Now, this video is divided into five simple steps, so that's enough intro, let's get started. All right, for this video, I'm using my Motorola phone, but don't worry, this same method works on most Android phones, including Pixel, OnePlus, Realme, Nothing, and many other supported devices. So the step one to root any Android phone is unlocking the bootloader. For that, open your settings app and go to About Phone. Here, look for build number and then tap on build number seven times until you see the message saying you are now a developer. Once that's done, go back to settings and open additional settings. Next. Scroll down in developer options and enable the OEM unlocking option. On my phone, it already shows unlocked, so don't worry, I'll walk you through the process. Next, scroll further down and enable USB debugging as well. Unlocking the bootloader on Motorola phones requires many extra steps, so I'll use Pixel 6a for bootloader unlocking part. If you're using a Motorola phone, just watch my dedicated Motorola bootloader video and skip this part. Once USB debugging and OEM unlock options are enabled, connect your phone to the PC using a USB cable. When USB debugging pop-up appears on your phone, just tap Allow. Now let's move to the PC screen. On the PC, download the platform tool from the description link and extract it as well. After extracting, you can delete the zip file if you want and open the extracted platform tools folder. Now. Click on the address bar at the top and type CMD and press enter. This will open the command prompt right inside the platform tools folder. Next, in the terminal, run the command ADB devices. If you see a serial number listed, that means your device is connected properly. Now run the command ADB reboot bootloader. This will reboot your Pixel phone into fastboot mode. So just wait a few seconds until phone boot into fastboot mode. Now the bootloader unlocking command varies slightly, depending on your device manufacturer and model. For older devices like some Google, Motorola, and HTC models, you'll likely use fastboot OEM unlock. But for newer devices like Google Pixel, OnePlus, Xiaomi, nothing and more, the command is typically fastboot flashing unlock. Since I'm using a newer Pixel phone, fastboot flashing unlock is the correct command for me. As soon as you run this command, look at your phone screen. Your phone will show a confirmation message asking if you really want to unlock the bootloader. Use the volume buttons on your phone to move the selection to unlock the bootloader and then press the power button to confirm. This step will erase all data and unlock the bootloader of your Pixel phone. Now press the power button to reboot your phone. All right, let me fast forward through the setup process and quickly set up the device again. And yes, the device has now rebooted. Let's quickly confirm whether the bootloader is unlocked or not. So let me quickly enable developer options again. And yes, as you can see, OEM unlocking is grayed out and shows already unlocked. This confirms that the bootloader has been successfully unlocked. All right, with the bootloader unlocked, let's move on to step two, downloading the correct boot image to root the Android phone. First, we need to check the build number, so let's do that. Go to Settings, then scroll down and tap on About Phone. Here, 
find the build number and note it down because we'll need it to download the correct firmware for the phone. I've already made a dedicated video where I explain four simple ways to get the boot image for any Android phone. Now on the PC, open any browser and search for your device's firmware using the build number you just noted. You will find your device firmware on official or unofficial websites. So here I found a firmware file that matches my build number. Let me quickly extract it. Inside the extracted firmware folder, you'll see multiple image files. For this method, you only need to find boot.img. Even if init underscore boot.img is also present, you have to use boot.img only. This boot image is what we'll patch using a patch in the next step. So let me copy this boot.img file to the phone's internal storage. And yes, our boot image is now available on the phone. Now it's time for step three, patching the boot image using a patch. Install the Apache app from the link in the description and open it. Interface is clean and simple. Just tap on the option to install or patch and select the boot.img file we just copied. Before starting the patch, you need to set your super key. This is a password that you'll use to grant root access to apps later. Whenever an app asks for root, you'll enter this super key to allow it. Once the super key is set, tap start button and let a patch modify the boot image. And it's done. The patched image is now saved in the downloads folder. Let me quickly confirm it's there. And yes, here we have our patched boot image. Now it's time for step four, flashing the patched boot image using fastboot. First, let me quickly move this patched boot image to the download folder. Once that's done, go back to the terminal and run ADB devices to confirm the phone is connected in ADB mode. After the device is detected, reboot into bootloader mode by running a db reboot bootloader and wait for the phone to enter the fastboot screen. Once the phone is in fastboot mode, run this command. Fastboot flashboot underscore a and path of the patched boot image. If you get any error, try the same command without an underscore, like this. After that, Flash the same patch boot image to slot B as well by running fastboot flashboot underscore B followed by the path of the patch boot image. Once both slots are flashed successfully, reboot the phone by typing fastboot reboot and press enter. The device will now boot normally. The first boot can take a little longer than usual, so just wait patiently. All right, the phone is now fully booted. Let's quickly verify whether root is active or not. And there we go. We get the working message, which means our phone is successfully rooted using a patch. From here, you can install modules and grant root access to any app directly from the a patch app. Let me quickly check using a root checker app to make sure root access is granted. And yes, as you can see, root access is properly installed on this device. So that's it for this video on how to root any Android phone using a patch in 2026. If you followed the steps carefully, everything should be working perfectly. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Android guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.